Hi Techie guys, I am Nandkishore Swami and today we would be learning about retrieving Internet Explorer's uh, table data into a data table variable. And uh, this is a kind of unique way or method you would not find anywhere else on the internet or anywhere. So let's get started. Uh, we would be using the code from our previous tutorial. So here we have a website that has some data in a data table format and we'll, we'll be retrieving this information or this table into a data table variable. So our first objective is to check this for loop. We'll check if this website is already running. So once we get to know this is running, so we'll set the i document only. Since we will be retrieving this uh, table information into a data table variable, so let's declare a dt or a data table variable data table and uh, as we can see in this table we have three columns so let let's add the columns mm, columns dot add and let's have it simply three columns all right so now to get this table information first we need to check the control of this table so let's press F12 so once we press the F12 we'll see uh, this developer window is open and click on the DOM Explorer and click on this little arrow and just mouse hover uh, we do not need the individual control we would need the entire table control so let's move it slowly and, oh, and there we go okay now we can see this entire table is being selected and I'll just click it so I can see this is a table uh, into a table tag and there is no name there is no ID so we do not have any other way apart from getting this table information with the help of get element by tag name so and if we check uh, the total number of tables into this particular website is uh, I have already checked it around 6 and the, this particular table has the index value of 4 so you can also validate the index value uh, for your target table and once you know the target uh, index target tables index value then you can certainly write write a for loop for each so what we're gonna do we will loop through each row into this data into this table so let's uh, each row n ie doc dot get elements by we do not have ID but we have only tag name so we do not have any other way to get the element uh, of this particular table apart from tag name and the tag name is table and the table index whenever there is a kind of get elements like in name and uh, uh, in tag name this is s so it would be giving a collection so out of the collection will uh, our table has the index value of 4 that I have already validated and then dot rows since we would be looping through each row in this table so it enter and then our next uh, then our next thing is add this row each row into our data table so we already have added the three columns since this table contains three columns so just uh, click uh, uh, so just uh, add a row like uh, dt dot row dot add and this rw would be a complete row of this table that would contain three cells so rw dot cells 
and since this it, it is uh, zero index base uh, columns or cells and to get the value or get the text out of that since it is a uh, an um, IE element so IE element get uh, gives the text value as a outer text or inner text so we can use like outer text for the zero cell that would give you the value of first cell and this is second and third and we'll just change the index value from 0 to 0 1 and 2 so let's run this code and we don't need any other code apart from this so we can certainly go ahead and delete it or, or let's have it here no issues so let me run it now so I'll press F11 to run this code and we can certainly close this uh, developer window from Internet Explorer and now we're gonna loop through each I open IE from this computer and check uh, uh, the URL which is calendar.com so once we found it we'll get out of this since I IE object is already holding the value so it would not create any instance now we are setting the IE document into the IE document now we are creating a new variable which is data table adding three columns now we are looping through each row from Internet Explorer's this table and we'll add it into the data table variable so this is the way we can add it and let's see the value now and quick on view. so there we go so we can see all the column is holding the value from this table into a data table variable so that's it in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in next video thanks